Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how to configure SNMP for the Cisco Firepower Management Center. So with access to the graphical user interface, you need to head over to system configuration and then you need to head over to access list first and what we need to do is we need to add an access list that will permit a set or specific IP address for SNMP without doing this step you won't be able to configure SNMP for the Firepower Management Center. So as you can see I have a rule here allowing a specific subnet on port 161 which is SNMP so to do that it's very straightforward we would just input the IP address in here and then select SNMP and then add. I'm not going to do that because I've already got mine added here. So once you've done that we need to then go down to SNMP and then under SNMP version select which version you want to use so for instance we can go ahead here and press version 3 and if I give my username a user of demo for this particular demonstration and then I'm going to select as the authentication protocol I'm going to select SHA I'm going to give this a password and then confirm that password and then we're going to use AES128 for the uh, encryption or privacy and then again we need to specify a password and confirm that password so once you're satisfied with the configuration settings go ahead and press add the user will now be added underneath the users for version 3 and then we go ahead and press save. So SNMP version 3 has now been configured and saved successfully. And likewise, if you wanted to do the same for version 2, you would just specify a community string rather than specifying a user along with the uh, authentication um, and privacy and again same with version 1. In this demonstration we're using version 3. So I will now head over to my NMS platform, specify version 3, our authentication level we're going to use off and privacy. The username was demo. I'll specify the same password that I used in the on the FMC and we're using SHA as the algorithm and again I use the same password so we can specify that and we were using AES so the last thing we need to do is specify the host name so I'll just give the FMC host name or the IP address and then we should be good to go. So once done, I will now press add device. And I can see there now that my device has been added. So what will happen is Observium will now go out and pull all the information necessary for this device and complete the onboarding onto Observium. So that's simply how you configure SNMP more specifically SNMP version 3 on the Firepower Management Center for the Firepower Management Center. If you are looking for a video on how to configure the FTD devices via the FMC for SNMP, click the link above now. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.